Hey, what's up? This is Matt Dietz, and this is Agency Launch. This is the show where I talk about running an insurance agency. I talk about sales and marketing strategies for insurance agents. I talk about staffing for insurance agents. I talk about retention and customer service for insurance agents. One of the most popular questions that I get right now is, hey, Matt, I know I'm supposed to quote a certain amount of people every day. How do I find people to quote? Well, if you text me right now to 208-213-8809, I have an asset pulled directly from my master class that I'm giving out for free. Text me 20 policies to 208-213-8809, and I will show you how to write 20 policies this week. On with the show. All right. So today, what's up? I wanted to talk to you about a review I had. Like I said, um, we're we're kind of in a rate cycle right now where it's challenging to keep. uh, Our conversations are a little bit different when it comes to uh, reviews and renewals and stuff, right? So I wanted to share a story in my agency I had with a good client and how it went. I wanted to tell you kind of the language that I used, uh, you know, to keep this client, even though his premium went up 40%. Okay. So... His name was Chuck. He's been a good client of mine for 15 years. And he came in. He's like, Matt, I know I threaten to shop you every year. He goes, but I think that's just too much work. And, uh, you know, I get the feeling that it's going to cost, it's only going to save me a couple hundred bucks and it's not going to be worth it. You know, are you competitive? That's what he threw at me right out of the gate. And I was like, all right, man. All right, Chuck, let me tell you, let me tell you a little something. Okay. I backed off of that question immediately because between between you and I, he could probably beat my premiums, okay? But this is the way I handled the conversation. I said, Chuck, I said, let me tell you something. I've been an agent for 18 years. I said, in my first 10 years as an agency owner, we were insuring houses in our valley for about $100 a square foot. So a 2,500 square foot house, we'd cover for $250,000. And we did that for 10 years. That's what it costs to rebuild houses in this valley. About six or seven years ago, that jumped overnight to like 150 bucks a square foot. You know, a lot of growth going on in here. Building prices went up, and now we're insuring houses for 150 dollars a square foot. So that 250 thousand dollars worth of replacement cost for the 2,500 square foot house just went up to oh 375 thousand dollars. Okay. I said about two or three years ago, it went up to about $200 a square foot. Like, so in a short period of time, reconstruction costs in my valley in about a five or six year period doubled. All right. So the reality is, is that house that we were covering for two fifty, dollars we now have to cover for $500,000. I said, Chuck, that's real money. All right. So when there are losses and there are claims, we have to pay out a significant, significantly, we have to pay out significantly more money you know, to make that person whole again, that money has to come from somewhere and it it generally comes from increased premiums. Okay. So all of your houses that we have on the books right now, we're covering for almost twice as much as we did 10 years ago. Okay. So, you know, rates are increasing. Then I talked about catastrophic losses, you know, catastrophic losses are up across the country. We're kind of told to tell them that, you know, when a whole, when a fire wipes out an entire town like Paradise, California, like that affects the whole company. It's not just my company, it's every company. Okay. When a tornado wipes out an entire town, it's not just that state that gets hit. Like everybody has a little bit that they got to pitch in. And so rates can go up. But the bulk of your premium is based on losses in your state. Okay. And reconstruction costs. And then he, and then I said, look, the other reason that I would encourage you to, to stay, I said, the other thing I said, look, Chuck, if you shopped your premiums right now, could you find a better price? I said, look, I don't know for sure. I go, you probably, I can't remember the language I used exactly. I was like, you know, there's a chance you'd be able to, you know, find lower premiums. Sure. Like I, I don't know a hundred percent. I'm not shopping. I haven't shot my premiums, you know, but there's a chance that there are better premiums out there for you. But I'll tell you what, there's, there's a reason that you're with me and I'm going to, I'll tell you why. I said, one is I've got, I've got leadership on the ground here in my town. I go, I've got a district office here. I've got leadership here that I can go to with high level problems. I go, I know my, 
I know my adjusters. I know my claims adjusters. I know their supervisors and I know their supervisors. I can get to the head of claims in my state with a phone call. He's in my phone right now. I could call him right now and uh, I could help. I could help make things easier. I could help. I help clients with claims when they're, when they're necessary. Example, I'm helping a client right now who is not happy with their total loss settlement on their car. I said they were offered $12,000 and they were displeased with that. I said, so I called the adjuster. I said, Hey, what do we need to do here? She's not happy with this. So I jump in the middle of these two, my claims adjuster and my clients who are kind of going toe to toe. And I said, Hey, you know, I grease, I grease that machine. All right. Like, how can we, how can we help here? I give a little background about my client to the adjuster. And, um, we so far have bumped that an extra $3,000, which is real money that I'm going to put in this woman's pocket, you know, just by being involved. I said, that's the kind of work. And that's the kind of stuff that you should expect from a good agent. I said, if you go to a company that doesn't have an agent, like Geico or Progressive or something like that, you're not going to get that kind of attention. You're going to have an 800 number. You're going to get a claims person that might not be in your state. And you're going to have to do all that work by yourself. Okay. You're not going to have somebody advocating for you. Or if you have an agent that's an absentee agent, you know, they're out there. I know it's not you, you know, but there are absentee agents that just don't answer their calls or they just let claims do what they're going to do. Or if you have a broker that doesn't have the relationships they have with all of their different companies that they work for and things like that. I said, so that's what you get when you're with me and a company like mine. Okay. So that's what I told him. And then I also encouraged him to increase all of his deductibles to $5,000. I said, Hey, you carry a thousand dollars on two homes, $2,500 on another. I'm like, would you file a claim on any of your properties for less than $5,000? And he said, probably not. I go, Chuck, if you know for sure that you would not carry, a f- that you would not file a claim for less than $5,000 on any of your properties, you should absolutely carry a $5,000 deductible because you are paying more for the lower deductible for something that you would not use. Okay. I said, if we go to $5,000 across the board, I'm going to save you a $1,000 in premium on all three of these properties. Okay. The chances of you filing multiple claims on these properties in one year or two years or three years or four years is very, very slim. Okay, so you're going to save $1,000 a year on premium every year. Okay, so if you go four years claim free, you've saved $4,000, which is what you're sacrificing right now by changing your deductibles. Okay, so I threw all of that at him and he was, he was cool. He was like, right on, we're going to stay. And so we kept $15,000 worth of premium on the books because, because I sat down with him and had this conversation with him. He came into my office and we did a face-to-face old school, right? The way that we used to do it in the olden days, right? But it was, you know, that's what you get. That's what, that's the service I want to provide. These are the conversations that I am happy to have, you know, um, educating, educating, educating is so important because people don't live in our world. People don't live in the insurance world. You know, they get their bill, they see the numbers, they don't understand. And it's not their fault. It's just not something that they deal with on a day-to-day basis. So you as the expert can bring this atten- bring this education to them and bring it to their attention and explain to them why. I'm not going to save all of these, okay? Um, I have people that are canceling and they don't give me the chance to have the conversation. I've had this conversation with a couple of different people recently and they've both stayed there. Like, I understand. That makes total sense. Thank you, Matt, for explaining. And then I've had people that have canceled without giving me the chance to talk. I've had people cancel anyway, even though like I've had this conversation with them. They're like, hey, Matt, I get it. That makes sense. But I have a quote here that's significantly less and I just can't justify it. And that's, that's going to happen too. This is all part of the deal that you signed up for when you became an insurance agency owner. Okay. So um, you just got to do your best. And if they do leave, you know, hopefully they leave on good terms and you have the opportunity to earn your business, earn their business back, you know, after a year or two or three, once uh, this rate cycle is kind of leveled out. So there you go. I just wanted to share that with you. Hope it's helpful. Put some of that into play and uh, go save some business. My name is Matt. This is Agency Launch. Don't forget to check out my other podcast about insurance called Simply Explaining Insurance. It's all about our product. Also, check out, um, send me a, send me that text, 208-213-8809 to um, get that free resource for how to write 20 policies in a week. 
and check out my master class, uh, my, my program at agencylaunch.net. Thank you so much for listening. Keep up the good work.